Hello guys, welcome back to Bible class time. I'm glad you're here today. Now this week we have been learning about how Jesus loves the children and how he loves to spend time with children and he still does today. He loves to spend time with you because he's always with us. Now, who do you enjoy spending time with? Can you think of somebody you'd love to visit with, to play with, to see? Maybe you're thinking about your family. Maybe you're thinking about your school friends or your church friends or people on your ball team. Why do you like to play with them or spend time with them? Maybe because they're fun or they're, they're sweet or you just have a blast together. Well, guess what? Jesus wants to spend time with each and every one of us just like that, mainly because he loves us and he loves you. Today, we're going to read a make-believe story, and I want you to listen carefully so you can tell me what you think in just a minute. So listen along with me. Sasha jumped up and down as she held her daddy's hand and she waited for Jake to appear. Jake was the lead singer of a popular band that she loved listening to, and they, were, they had come to their town for a concert, and everybody in the crowd wanted to see him. Sasha hoped that Jake would sign her newest copy of his CD that she had bought with her very own money. She held that CD, that means the music, she held that little box of the music close to her heart. She was so excited and she wanted him to sign his autograph. She couldn't wait. She just knew she would see him. Well, as the doors opened, the crowd cheered. Sasha's daddy lifted her up on her shoulder so she could see. Wow. This is going to be the best day of my life, she thought. Well, after the concert was over, the announcer said that Jake had to hurry off to go to a recording studio and he couldn't, he didn't have time to meet anybody or sign CDs or anything. Immediately, the crowd became silent. Poor Sasha was devastated. She was so sad, she started to cry. But guess what? Jake looked over at the crowd and he happened to see Sasha sitting up on her daddy's shoulders. Suddenly, Jake surprised everyone. He pointed to Sasha and said, let her come to me. Jake's manager said, Jake, you don't have time for this. You've got you've to go. But Jake said, I'm not leaving until I meet that little girl. So Sasha and her daddy made their way towards Jake. Sasha stopped crying and smiled. Jake lifted her off her daddy's shoulders and onto the step where he was standing. Immediately, Sasha started to smile and giggle and laugh. She was so happy. And Jake took her CD and signed his name on it. And he said, I'm so glad to meet you. Your smile is so much better than your tears. That's a great story. Jake saw her sad and disappointed and what did he do he made her feel better didn't he all right so to begin with why was Sasha so excited to go see Jake what do you think he was the lead singer of a band why else maybe because she enjoyed his music or she thought he was really cool no why did Sasha start to cry? Do you remember that part? Because she thought she wasn't going to be able to meet him. She got sad. She had been so excited to meet someone that she really enjoyed, somebody that she really admired, and she was not going to be able to meet him, so she was upset. What did Jake do? He saw her and he said, come to me. He wanted to make her feel better and let her know that she was appreciated and that she was welcome and he didn't want to see her sad. He made it all better. Do you know Jesus does that same thing for us? Jesus doesn't like it when our hearts are hurting and sad. Jesus wants to be with us. He wants us to come to him. That's why he came to this earth because he wants us to believe in him and have faith in him and he can make everything better. Even when things are tough, Jesus can make things better in our lives. I hope you believe that and trust in that. 
Well, today you have a Bible workbook page to do. It is page 111, and it's a little bit messy. The first part of it, you just need a pencil, and you fill out the secret code, and you will see, or you use the code to fill out the secret message, and I think you'll like it. The instruction says to use the code to figure out what letter to write on each line. So you might need a parent to help you with this part, but you'll like the secret message. But the messy part is at the bottom. At number two, it says use your fingerprint to draw each member of your family. And if you'll look, you'll see a little green fingerprint fellow with a happy face down there. What it wants you to do is take a marker Take a washable marker if it's okay with whoever you're with, mom or dad or grandparents. Ask them if it's okay and take a washable marker. Let's see if I can grab my marker right here. And color the tip of your fingerprint. Color, 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 color. And put your fingerprint on the bottom of your page. One fingerprint for everybody in your family. And then you can draw smiley faces or make them decorate them just like they're your family. So if your mommy has brown hair, give her pretty brown hair with whatever color eyes she has. Make a fingerprint family with your markers. Pretty fun. I love it when we get to use markers. I would have loved to see this in the classroom. I would have loved to see all your family members, the people that you love to spend time with. And do you know what? Even more important, Jesus wants to spend time with them and with you. Thank you for joining me again today. I hope you enjoy doing your fingerprint family, and I hope your day is blessed. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye, friends.